1963. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit, then. Hi, so this is Jay from, from Gamerville, and today I'm reviewing Doctor Who, City of the, the Daleks. Can I meet John Lennon? This is the first in a series of episodic adventures by the BBC and Sumo team, who previously made Broken Sword, Secrets of the Ark, otherwise known as Angel of Death. The plot is standard Doctor Who fare. The year, at the beginning anyway, is 1963, and the Daleks have annihilated humanity. It's up to the Doctor and Amy to save the day. But can they even save themselves? Well, right. since this is an adventure game, that's up sorry, to you, I'm isn't so it? Sorry. This game is a bit of an odd duck. It's only about an hour, hour and a half long at most. The puzzles are fairly simple, the graphics are a bit uncanny valley, but the fact is that this is a game for all the family. And, as such, it had to make some sacrifices to be both computer and child-friendly. The dialogue is quite good, consisting of witty retorts from both the Doctor and Amy, and an absolute boatload of fan references. Indeed, one particular reference to three separate episodes had me feeling incredibly old when I realised I even knew the Patrick Troughton one. Be careful down here. You never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. The difficulty curve for the game is balanced. It's a little unchallenging for long-time adventure gamers, but then again, this is a game for all the family. The collector cards, which are spread throughout all four episodes, are a nice touch, especially the Jelly Baby flavours. Whoever knew there was a chocolate Jelly Baby? On top of that, little educational facts you can discover, whether about the series, or in this particular case about London, are also a nice educational touch. It's a little one, but it's still nice. If there is one thing I can complain about without sounding like a gaming Grinch, it's the Metal Gear Dalek sections. You know the sort of thing, cones of vision, instant death if you're spotted, it's just frustrating at times, and that's pretty much the only bad thing I can find. Overall, I'd give this game a three and a half out of five. It's not exceptional, but it's definitely not terrible, and even though it's short, it's enjoyable. What flaws it has can be put down to wanting to make it more accessible, and to be honest, I'm fine with that. So, for children, first-time adventurers, and Doctor Who fans, this is a fairly good choice. And on top of that, in the UK, it's free. In the US, it's quite cheap, and worth the price. This has been Jay from Gamerphil, and hope you're all having a good week.